They're both database tools and from the surface can look like other tools. Airtable can look a lot like Google Sheets and Notion can look a lot like Evernote. Both Airtable and Notion are powerful tools and for me personally, it took me a while to truly understand the differences between Airtable and Notion. It wasn't until I went through Marie Poulin's Notion Mastery course and finally understood the key differences between Airtable and Notion. If you don't know what Notion Mastery is, I'll put a link in the description below. With all of that in mind, I'm going to attempt to speed up your learning curve when it comes to how Airtable and Notion are similar, how they're different, and when to use each of them. So let's start with how Airtable and Notion are similar. First, Airtable and Notion are both database-centered tools. They're meant to hold data. And within that, you can have the databases connect and relate to one another, and both allow you to view those databases in so many different ways. You can have these grid views, you can have the Kanban views. There are so many different views for Airtable and Notion. Second, both Airtable and Notion are heavily customizable. You can start out with a blank canvas and just from a blank Airtable base or blank Notion page or blank Notion database, or you can use one of the pre-made templates which are built into each of the tools. And the templates, honestly, for both tools are really solid. And third, both integrate with other tools and have native integrations. Now it's a little bit different with Airtable. So with that, let's actually start talking about the key differences between Airtable and Notion. First, for the key differences, like I just mentioned, Airtable and Notion both have integrations that are natively built into the tools. However, Airtable is quite a bit ahead for now. Airtable currently has native automations when it comes to you know, automating records based on status changes or even just editing records that are in a particular base. They also have native integrations with other tools and most probably importantly with the G Suite. So if you're gonna do automatic emails or automatic calendar updates, Airtable has that built in natively. So that helps you save a little bit of money if you're using Zapier. Now for Notion, they are a little bit behind for now. They recently acquired Zapier's, one of Zapier's competitors, Automate.io, which is actually going to be sunsetted and it's being built into Notion itself. So yes, Notion is behind in the automations right now compared to Airtable, but I think in 12 to 18 months, Notion is going to look a quite a bit different when it comes to automations because of that acquisition in particular. Now you can do a lot with the API just recently opening up and you can use Zapier to do a lot of the automations within Notion, but having to use Zapier can be a little bit annoying because not natively built in to Notion and Zapier can get pricey pretty quick. So for now, Airtable definitely has the advantage when it comes to native integrations and native automations. The second key difference between Airtable and Notion is the sharing abilities. Honestly, this is where Airtable is like second to none with anyone. The sharing abilities within Airtable are amazing. You can have full views as read only, or even have certain columns, only certain columns have be editable. So you can make the whole thing readable, but only make maybe like a status change or an email field be editable, which is pretty amazing when it comes to the granular control when you have when it comes to sharing out an Airtable base or an Airtable view. So Airtable is amazing when it comes to sharing things out. Notion, on the other hand, honestly, this is where I'm the most frustrated when I'm using Notion is when it comes to sharing abilities. Now, when you go to share things in Notion, the nice clever part of Notion is that you can have things kind of like as a, not a fake website, but as a like, just a beginner website, essentially. You can make it feel like a website as a Notion page. So instead of having just like this Google Doc feel, particularly if you're using like comparing Notion to Google Docs, Notion can feel very much like a web page. So if you're just a brand new startup that doesn't have a website yet, Notion in a lot of ways can act as your first web page. The downside of doing and sharing anything in Notion though, is that they see everything that's on that page. So even if you're sharing particular databases and even if you have them filtered and viewed, those views are still, you can go see other views that maybe where you're hiding things, people can still go find those. So that's the frustrating part and it's getting better. They are actively working on this. It seems like there's been more conversation, particularly on Twitter and within the Notion Mastery community about this. 
but honestly you, there's the sharing abilities and the ability to control who sees what is definitely not the same compared to Airtable. So if you want these complex databases that are linking together and only you're only sharing certain views, you might want to go use Airtable for that. So just the sharing abilities in Notion aren't up to snuff just yet, but similar to the automations, I think they're coming. I think they're going to be better in 12 to 18 months. The third key difference between Airtable and Notion is the style and functionality of them. For Airtable, it is very much a spreadsheet driven tool. For Notion, it is very much a blocks and notes driven tool. And honestly, this is one of the things that's keeping me coming back to Notion is this blocks and notes type of formatting because writing in Notion is really such a beautiful experience. So if you're looking to write a lot, Notion is really wonderful at that. And I wouldn't recommend writing a ton of notes in Airtable it is very much a spreadsheet driven tool. You wouldn't write your all of your like notes for class in Microsoft Excel and similar goes to Airtable when it comes to that. The other part that I want to make sure that I cover in this functionality discussion is the speed of these tools. For me, it hasn't made that big of a difference, but I also don't have that many complex databases in Notion, but I have noticed that Airtable is maybe slightly faster than Notion. It hasn't made, a, again, a tremendous difference for me, but if you are using Notion pretty heavily and creating complex databases, it might be something to check out and really kind of search Twitter and search the message boards because it is something that I think is heavily discussed in the Notion community. Now that we've covered the key similarities and the key differences between Airtable and Notion, let's cover when to use each of these tools. For Airtable, I would use it when you have structured data or you have more complex data sets. It's also better, I particularly for more enterprise customers. Like I mentioned, the sharing abilities, particularly for enterprise customers, is a big deal. So if you're potentially an enterprise customer down the line or someone that is at that level already, I would definitely recommend using Airtable for more complex data sets and for more enterprise type customers at the moment. Additionally, if automations are important to you, Airtable definitely has the better experience when it comes to automations and integrations that are built in natively to Airtable. Personally, I'm using Airtable as a CRM, as an event manager, and as an application manager. It's really been anything that has or could potentially have forms involved because Airtable has native forms where Notion doesn't. And for me personally, that's been a big deal. For Notion, I highly recommend it as a knowledge management tool. So if you're looking for a tool that does note taking really well, can act as a company wiki that you can journal in or even use as a basic CRM, Notion can be a really wonderful tool for that. It's also really great for small businesses or smaller teams, especially when it comes to pricing as it's a little bit cheaper compared to Airtable when it comes to having a team. Personally, I use Notion for planning YouTube videos, for habit tracking, and for task management. I've also really enjoyed being part of the Notion community as it's definitely a little more engaged than those that are using Airtable. Overall, the Airtable versus Notion debate is mostly a personal preference. If you like one tool over another, good for you. Both are powerful tools and are developing quickly. In a year from now, they're both gonna be even better, particularly around automations. If you found value in this video, I would love it if you can give it a like. And if you're looking for more content like this, you can check out other videos on this channel like this one here.